I'm going to tell you the story of the Good Samaritan, which is based on the Bible, Luke 10, verses 25 to 37. Jesus asked a man one day, what must I do to live forever with God? What have you been taught, said Jesus. Love God with everything I am, answered the man, and love my neighbour in the same way I love myself. Good, Jesus smiled, that's what I would have said. But who exactly is my neighbour? asked the man. So Jesus told him a story. There was once a man who went for a walk from Jerusalem down to Jericho. And this would have been a very, very dangerous road. While the man was walking, robbers grabbed hold of the man and beat him and took his clothes and left him lying helpless by the side of the road. Soon a priest walked by and you would think that the priest would help the man, but he didn't. He walked past the helpless man and left him lying there. A man who worked at the temple came by next. Again, you would think that this man would help the man, but he didn't. He walked past the helpless man and left him lying there. Next, a Samaritan came by. The beaten man was Jewish. Some very bad things had happened between Jews and Samaritans years and years before, so they didn't get along. So you would think the Samaritan wouldn't have helped the man. And that's what anyone who lived in those days would have thought. He didn't have to help the beaten man. No one would have expected him to help, but he felt sorry for the man and he wanted to help. In fact, he was very generous. He bandaged the man's wounds, he put the man on his donkey and he took the man to an inn and paid the innkeeper to take care of him. And he even promised to pay even more if needed when he returned. So which of the three men, Jesus asked, was a neighbour to the man who had beaten? The one who showed him mercy and cared for him, answered the man who asked the question. Then you go and be a neighbour too, said Jesus. In the story of the Good Samaritan, the Samaritan wasn't expected to help the injured man. He could have carried on walking by like the priest and the person from the temple did. But he instead chose to show generosity, love and compassion from the man that was hurt at the side of the road. He helped him when he wasn't expected to, just because he wanted to help that person. He wanted to show generosity without any praise, without any um, reward. 
because he knew that it was the right thing to do for a person that he didn't know and wouldn't ordinarily be expected to get on with. Can you think of a time where you have been like the Good Samaritan and helped someone just because you knew it was the right thing to do to show love and compassion and generosity to a person? Can you think of anything that you could do now whilst we're in lockdown to show others that they mean a lot to you, to reach out to them, to know that they're loved and cared for, to help them when things are really, really difficult? It could be a smile, it could be a note, it could be a rainbow in your window. Whatever it is, take a minute now just to think about what you could do that could make a difference to somebody else. We're now going to sing My Lighthouse because you can be someone's light in this really difficult time. In my wrestling and in my doubts, in my failures, you won't walk out. Your great love will lead me through. You are the peace in my troubled sea. Whoa, you are the peace in my troubled sea. Silence, you won't let go. In the questions, your truth will hold. Your great love will lead me through. You are the peace in my troubled sea. Whoa, you are the peace in my troubled sea. My lighthouse, my to show
I'm going to worship now by saying a prayer. If you want to um, make my prayer your prayer, say Amen at the end. And if you want to make up one of your own, that's absolutely fine. You could do that after I've said my prayer. Let's put our hands together and close our eyes. Dear Lord, when we share with our friends, help us to give gladly. When we share with our families, help us to give gladly. When we share with people that we don't know, help us to give gladly. Lord, give us strength to give to those that we may not know, that we might not ordinarily help, but know that it is the right thing to do and what you would want us to do. Amen. Okay, let's end our worship now by blowing out the candle. Jesus is the light of the world, a light that no darkness can put out. Have a good day everybody and um, I look forward to seeing you all again soon. Bye. Dreams that you dream of once